This is brought to you by the Victorian. On YouTube, Facebook, and Anchor Podcast. Chromosome. A chromosome is a long DNA molecule with part or all of the genetic material of an organism. Most eukaryotic chromosomes include packaging proteins called histones which, aided by chaperone proteins, bind to and condense the DNA molecule to maintain its integrity. These chromosomes display a complex three-dimensional structure, which plays a significant role in transcriptional regulation. Chromosomes are normally visible under a light microscope only during the metaphase of cell division, where all chromosomes are aligned in the center of the cell in their condensed form. Before this happens, each chromosome is duplicated, S-phase, and both copies are joined by a centromere, resulting in either in an X-shaped structure, pictured above, if the centromere is located equatorially, or a two-armed structure, if the centromere is located distally. The joined copies are now called sister chromatids. During metaphase, the X-shaped structure is called a metaphase chromosome, which is highly condensed and thus easiest to distinguish and study. In animal cells, chromosomes reach their highest compaction level in anaphase during chromosome segregation. Chromosomal recombination during meiosis and subsequent sexual reproduction plays a significant role in genetic diversity. If these structures are manipulated incorrectly, through processes known as chromosomal instability and translocation, the cell may undergo mitotic catastrophe. Usually, this will make the cell initiate apoptosis leading to its death, but sometimes mutations in the cell hamper this process and thus cause the progression of cancer. Some use the term chromosome in a wider sense to refer to the individualized portions of chromatin in cells, either visible or not under light microscopy. Others use the concept in a narrower sense, to refer to the individualized portions of chromatin during cell division, visible under light microscopy due to high condensation. Etymology The word chromosome, slash chromosome, zom slash, comes from the Greek chiro mu alpha, chroma, color, and sigma mu alpha, soma, body, describing their strong staining by particular dyes. The term was coined by the German scientist von Waldier Hartz, referring to the term chromatin, which was introduced by Walther Fleming, the discoverer of cell division. Some of the early karyological terms have become outdated. For example, chromatin, Fleming 1880 and chromosome, Waldier 1888, both ascribe color to a non-colored state. History of discovery. The German scientists Schleiden, Firko, and Buchli were among the first scientists who recognized the structures now familiar as chromosomes. In a series of experiments beginning in the mid-1880s, Theodore Bovary gave definitive contributions to elucidating that chromosomes are the vectors of heredity, with two notions that became known as chromosome continuity and chromosome individuality. Wilhelm Roux suggested that each chromosome carries a different genetic configuration, and Bovary was able to test and confirm this hypothesis. Aided by the rediscovery at the start of the 1900s of Gregor Mendel's earlier work, Bovary was able to point out the connection between the rules of inheritance and the behavior of the chromosomes. Bovary influenced two generations of American cytologists, Edmund Beecher Wilson, Nettie Stevens, Walter Sutton, and Theophilus Painter were all influenced by Bovary, Wilson, Stevens, and Painter worked with him. In his famous textbook The Cell and Development and Heredity, Wilson linked together with the independent work of Bovary and Sutton, both around 1902, by naming the chromosome theory of inheritance the Bovary-Sutton chromosome theory, the names are sometimes reversed. Ernst Mayer remarks that the theory was hotly contested by some famous geneticists, William Bateson, Wilhelm Johansson, Richard Goldschmidt, and T.H. Morgan, all of a rather dogmatic turn of mind. Eventually, the complete proof came from chromosome maps in Morgan's lab. The number of human chromosomes was published in 1923 by Theophilus Painter. By inspection through the microscope, he counted 24 pairs, which would mean 48 chromosomes. His error was copied by others, and it was not until 1956 that the true number, 46, was determined by Indonesia-born cytogeneticist Joe Inchio. Prokaryotes the prokaryotes, bacteria and archaea, typically have a single circular chromosome, but many variations exist. 
The chromosomes of most bacteria, which some authors prefer to call genophores, can range in size from only 130,000 base pairs in the endosymbiotic bacteria Candidatus hodgkinia cicadicola and Candidatus tremblea princeps to more than 14 million base pairs in the soil-dwelling bacterium Syrangium cellulosum. Spirochetes of the genus Borrelia are a notable exception to this arrangement, with bacteria such as Borrelia burgdorferi, the cause of Lyme disease, containing a single linear chromosome. Structure and Sequences Prokaryotic chromosomes have less sequence-based structure than eukaryotes. Bacteria typically have a one point, the origin of replication, from which replication starts, whereas some arch AEA contain multiple replication origins. The genes in prokaryotes are often organized in operons and do not usually contain introns, unlike eukaryotes. DNA Packaging Prokaryotes do not possess nuclei. Instead, their DNA is organized into a structure called the nucleoid. Nucleoid is a distinct structure and occupies a defined region of the bacterial cell. This structure is, however, dynamic and is maintained and remodeled by the actions of a range of histone-like proteins, which associate with the bacterial chromosome. In ArchAEA, the DNA in chromosomes is even more organized, with the DNA packaged within structures similar to eukaryotic nucleosomes. Certain bacteria also contain plasmids or other extra-chromosomal DNA. These are circular structures in the cytoplasm that contain cellular DNA and play a role in horizontal gene transfer. In prokaryotes and viruses, the DNA is often densely packed and organized, in the case of ArchAEA, by homology to eukaryotic histones and in the case of bacteria, by histone-like proteins. Bacterial chromosomes tend to be tethered to the plasma membrane of the bacteria. In molecular biology application, this allows for its isolation from plasmid DNA by centrifugation of lysed bacteria and pelleting of the membranes and the attached DNA. Prokaryotic chromosomes and plasmids are, like eukaryotic DNA, generally supercoiled. The DNA must first be released into its relaxed state for access for transcription, regulation, and replication. Eukaryotes Each eukaryotic chromosome consists of a long linear DNA molecule associated with proteins, forming a compact complex of proteins and DNA called chromatin. Chromatin contains the vast majority of the DNA of an organism, but a small amount of inherited maternally can be found in the mitochondria. It is present in most cells, with a few exceptions, for example, red blood cells. Histones are responsible for the first and most basic unit of chromosome organization, the nucleosome. Eukaryotes, cells with nuclei such as those found in plants, fungi, and animals, possess multiple large linear chromosomes contained in the cell's nucleus. Each chromosome has one centromere, with one or two arms projecting from the centromere, although, under most circumstances, these arms are not visible as such. Also, most eukaryotes have a small circular mitochondrial genome, and some eukaryotes may have additional small circular or linear cytoplasmic chromosomes. In the nuclear chromosomes of eukaryotes, the uncondensed DNA exists in a semi-ordered structure, where it is wrapped around histones, structural proteins, forming a composite material called chromatin. Interphase chromatin the packaging of DNA into nucleosomes causes a 10 nanometer fiber, which may further condense up to 30 nanometers fibers. Most of the euchromatin in interphase nuclei appears to be in the form of 30 nanometers fibers. Chromatin structure is the more decondensed state, i.e. the 10 nanometers conformation allows transcription. During interphase, the period of the cell cycle where the cell is not dividing, two types of chromatin can be distinguished. Euchromatin, which consists of DNA that is active, example, being expressed as protein. Heterochromatin, which consists of mostly inactive DNA. It seems to serve structural purposes during the chromosomal stages. Heterochromatin can be further distinguished into two types. Constitutive heterochromatin, which is never expressed. It is located around the centromere and usually contains repetitive sequences. Facultative heterochromatin, which is sometimes expressed. Metaphase chromatin and division. In the early stages of mitosis or meiosis, cell division, the chromatin double helix becomes more and more condensed.
condensed. They cease to function as accessible genetic material, transcription stops, and become a compact transportable form. The loops of 30 nanometers chromatin fibers are thought to fold upon themselves further to form the compact metaphase chromosomes of mitotic cells. The DNA is thus condensed about 10,000 folds. Chromosome scaffold, which is made of proteins such as condensin, TOP2A, and KIF4, plays an important role in holding the chromatin into a compact chromosome. Loops of 30 nanometers structure further condense with scaffold into higher order structures. This highly compact form makes the individual chromosomes visible, and they form the classic forearm structure, a pair of sister chromatids attached at the centromere. The shorter arms are called P-arms, from the French petit, small, and the longer arms are called Q-arms, Q follows P in the Latin alphabet, Q-G grande, alternatively it is sometimes said Q is short for Q meaning tail in French. This is the only natural context in which individual chromosomes are visible with an optical microscope. Mitotic metaphase chromosomes are best described by a linearly organized longitudinally compressed array of consecutive chromatin loops. During mit mitosis, microtubules grow from centrosomes located at opposite ends of the cell and also attach to the centromere at specialized structures called kinetochores, one of which is present on each sister chromatid. A special DNA base sequence in the region of the kinetochores provides, along with special proteins, longer-lasting attachment in this region. The microtubules then pull the chromatids apart toward the centrosomes, so that each daughter cell inherits one set of chromatids. Once the cells have divided, the chromatids are uncoiled and DNA can again be transcribed. Despite their appearance, chromosomes are structurally highly condensed which enables these giant DNA structures to be contained within a cell nucleus. Human Chromosomes Chromosomes in humans can be divided into two types, autosomes, body chromosomes, and allosome, sex chromosomes. Certain genetic traits are linked to a person's sex and are passed on through the sex chromosomes. The autosomes contain the rest of the genetic hereditary information. All act in the same way during cell division. Human cells have 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 pairs of autosomes, and one pair of sex chromosomes, giving a total of 46 per cell. In addition to these, human cells have many hundreds of copies of the mitochondrial genome. The sequencing of the human genome has provided a great deal of information about each of the chromosomes. Below is a table compiling statistics for the chromosomes, based on the Sanger Institute's Human Genome Information in the Vertebrate Genome Annotation Vega, database. The number of genes is an estimate, as it is in part based on gene predictions. Total chromosome length is an estimate as well, based on the estimated size of unsequenced heterochromatin regions. Chromosome 1. Genes 2000. Total base pairs 247,199,719. Percent of base pairs 8.0. Sequenced base pairs 224,999,719. Percentage of base pairs 91.02. Chromosome 2. Genes 1300. Total Total base pairs 242,751,149. Percent of base pairs 7.9. Sequenced base pairs 237,712,649. Percentage of base pairs 97.92. Chromosome 3. Genes 1000. Total base pairs 199,446,827. Percent of base pairs 6.5. Sequenced base pairs 194,704,827. Percentage of base pairs 97.62. Chromosome 4. Genes 1000. Total base pairs 191,263,063. Percent of base pairs 6.2. Sequenced base pairs 187,297,063. Percentage of base pairs 
Percentage of base pairs 97.93 Chromosome 5 Genes 900 Total base pairs 180,837,866 Percent of base pairs 5.9 Sequenced base pairs 177,702,766 Percentage of base pairs 98.27 Chromosome 6 Genes 1000 Total base pairs 170,896,993 Percent of base pairs 5.5 Sequenced base pairs 167,273,993 Percentage of base pairs 97.88 Chromosome 7 Genes 900 Total base pairs 158,821,424 Percent of base pairs 5.2 Sequenced base pairs 154,952,424 Percentage of base pairs 97.56 Chromosome 8 Genes 700 Total base pairs 146,274,826 Percent of base pairs 4.7 Sequenced base pairs 142,612,826 Percentage of base pairs 97.50 Chromosome 9 Genes 800 Total base pairs 140,442,298 Percent of base pairs 4.6 Sequenced base pairs 120,312,298 Percentage of base pairs 85.67 Chromosome 10 Genes 700 Total base pairs 135,374,737 Percent of base pairs 4.4 Sequenced base pairs 131,624,737 Percentage of base pairs 97.23 Chromosome 11 Genes 1,300 Total base pairs 134,452,384 Percent of base pairs 4.4 Sequenced base pairs 131,130,853 Percentage of base pairs 97.53 Chromosome 12 Genes 1100 Total base pairs 132,289,534 Percent of base pairs 4.3 Sequenced base pairs 130,303,534 Percentage of base pairs 98.50 Chromosome 13 Genes 300 Total base pairs 114,127,980 Percent of base pairs 3.7 Sequenced base pairs 95,559,980 Percentage of base pairs 83.73 Chromosome 14 Genes 800 Total base pairs 106,360,585 Percent of base pairs 3.5 Sequenced base pairs 88,290,585 Percentage of base pairs 83.01% Chromosome 15 Genes 600 Total base pairs 100,338,915 Percent of base pairs 3.3 Sequenced base pairs 81,341,915 Percentage of base pairs 81.07 Chromosome 16 Genes 800 Total
Total base pairs 88,822,254. Percent of base pairs 2.9. Sequenced base pairs 78,884,754. Percentage of base pairs 88.81. Chromosome 17. Genes 1,200. Total base pairs 78,654,742. Percent of base pairs 2.6. Sequenced base pairs 77,800,220. Percentage of base pairs 98.91. Chromosome 18. Genes 200. Total base pairs 76,117,153. Percent of base pairs 2.5 Sequenced base pairs 74,656,155 Percentage of base pairs 98.08% Chromosome 19 Genes 1,500 Total base pairs 63,806,651 Percent of base pairs 2.1 Sequenced base pairs 55,785,651. Percentage of base pairs 87.43. Chromosome 20. Genes 500. Total base pairs 62,435,965. Percent of base pairs 2.0. Sequenced base pairs 59,505,254. Base pairs 95.31. Chromosome 21. Genes 200. Total base pairs 46,944,323. Percent of base pairs 1.5. Sequenced base pairs 34,171,998. Percentage of base pairs 72.79. Chromosome 22. Genes 500. Total base pairs 49,528,953. Percent of base pairs 1.6. Sequenced base pairs 34,893,953. Percentage of base pairs 70.45. Chromosome X, sex chromosome. Genes 800. Total base pairs 154,913,754. Percent of base pairs 5.0. Sequenced base pairs 151,058,754. Percentage of base pairs 97.51. Chromosome Y, sex chromosome. Genes 200. Total base pairs 57,741,652. Percent of base pairs 1.9. Sequenced base pairs 25,121,652. Percentage of base pairs 43.51. Total. Genes 21,000. Total base pairs 3,079,843,747. Percent of base pairs 100.0. Sequenced base pairs 2,857,698,560. Percentage of base pairs 92.79. Number in various organisms. In eukaryotes, these tables give the total number of chromosomes, including sex chromosomes, in a cell nucleus. For example, most eukaryotes are diploid, like humans who have 22 different types of autosomes, each present as two homologous pairs, and two sex chromosomes. This gives 46 chromosomes in total. Other organisms have more than two copies of their chromosome types, such as bread wheat, which is hexaploid, and has six copies of seven different chromosome types, 42 chromosomes in total. Chromosome number Numbers in some plants Plant species Adder's tongue fern, polyploid 
approximate 1,200. Rye, deployed. 14. Einkorn wheat, deployed. 14. Maize, deployed or paleo tetraploid. 20. Durham wheat, tetraploid. 28. Bread wheat, hexaploid. 42. Cultivated tobacco, tetraploid. 48. Arabidopsis thaliana, diploid. 10. Chromosome numbers, 2n in some animals. Species. Indian munchak. 7. Common fruit fly. 8. Pill millipede, Arthrosphera fumosa. 30. Earthworm, Octodrylus complanatus. 36. Tibetan fox. 36. Domestic cat. 38. Domestic pig. 38. Laboratory mouse. 40. Laboratory rat. 42. Rabbit, Oryctologus cuniculus. 44. Syrian hamster. 44. Guppy, Poecilia reticulata. 46. Human. 46. Hares. 48. Gorillas, chimpanzees. 48. Domestic sheep. 54. Garden snail. 54. Silkworm. 56. Elephants. 56. Cow. 60. Donkey. 62. Guinea pig. 64. Horse. 64. Dog. 78. Hedgehog. 90. Goldfish. 100 to 104. Kingfisher. 132. Chromosome numbers in other organisms. Species domestic pigeon, Columba livia domestics. Large chromosomes 18. Microchromosomes 59 to 63. Species Trypanosoma brucei. Large chromosomes 11. Intermediate chromosomes 6. Microchromosomes almost equals 100. Species chicken. Large chromosomes 8. Intermediate chromosomes 2 sex chromosomes. Microchromosomes 60. Normal members of a particular eukaryotic species all have the same number of nuclear chromosomes, see the table. Other eukaryotic chromosomes, i.e., mitochondrial and plasmid-like small chromosomes, are much more variable in number, and there may be thousands of copies per cell. Asexually reproducing species have one set of chromosomes that are the same in all body cells. However, asexual species can be either haploid or diploid. Sex Sexually reproducing species have somatic cells, body cells, which are diploid, 2N, having two sets of chromosomes, 23 pairs in humans with one set of 23 chromosomes from each parent, one set from the mother and one from the father. Gametes, reproductive cells, are haploid and they have one set of chromosomes. Gametes are produced by meiosis of a diploid germline cell. During meiosis, the matching chromosomes of father and mother can exchange small parts of themselves, crossover, and thus create new chromosomes that are not inherited solely from either parent. When a male and a female gamete merge, fertilization, a new diploid organism is formed. Some animal and plant species are polyploid, XN, they have more than two sets of homologous chromosomes. Plants important in agriculture such as tobacco or wheat are often polyploid, compared to their ancestral species. Wheat has a haploid number of seven chromosomes, still seen in some cultivars, as well as the wild progenitors. The more common pasta and bread wheat types are polyploid, having 28, tetraploid, and 42, hexaploid, chromosomes, compared to the 14, diploid, chromosomes in the wild wheat. In prokaryotes. 
Prokaryote species generally have one copy of each major chromosome, but most cells can easily survive with multiple copies. For example, Bucknera, a symbiont of aphids has multiple copies of its chromosome, ranging from 10 to 400 copies per cell. However, in some large bacteria, such as Epilopitium fischel sony up to 100,000 copies of the chromosome can be present. Plasmids and plasmid-like small chromosomes are, as in eukaryotes, highly variable in copy number. The number of plasmids in the cell is almost entirely determined by the rate of division of the plasmid, fast division causes a high copy number. Karyotype In general, the karyotype is the characteristic chromosome complement of a eukaryote species. The preparation and study of karyotype, karyotypes is part of cytogenetics. Although the replication and transcription of DNA are highly standardized in eukaryotes, the same cannot be said for their karyotypes, which are often highly variable. There may be variation between species in chromosome number and in a detailed organization. In some cases, there is significant variation within species. Often there is. 1. Variation between the two sexes. 2. Variation between the germline and soma, between gametes and the rest of the body. 3. Variation between members of a population, due to balanced genetic polymorphism. 4. Geographical variation between races. 5. Mosaics or otherwise abnormal individuals. Also, variation in karyotype may occur during development from the fertilized egg. The technique of determining the karyotype is usually called karyotyping. Cells can be locked partway through division in metaphase, in vitro, in a reaction vial with colchicine. These cells are then stained, photographed, and arranged into a karyogram with the set of chromosomes arranged, autosomes in order of length, and sex chromosomes, here x slash y at the end. Like many sexually reproducing species, humans have special gonosomes, sex chromosomes, in contrast to autosomes. These are XX in females and XY in males. History and Analysis Techniques The investigation into the human karyotype took many years to settle the most basic question, how many chromosomes does a normal diploid human cell contain? In 1912, Hans von Winniewarder reported 47 chromosomes in spermatogonia and 48 in oogonia, concluding an xx slash sex determination mechanism. Painter in 1922 was not certain whether the diploid number of man is 46 or 48, at first favoring 46. He revised his opinion later from 46 to 48, and he correctly insisted on humans having an xx slash xy system. New techniques were needed to definitively solve the problem. Using cells in culture. Arresting mitosis in metaphase by a solution of colchicine. Pre-treating pre cells in a hypotonic solution 0.075 mkCl, which swells them and spreads the chromosomes. Squashing the preparation on the slide forcing the chromosomes into a single plane. Cutting up a photomicrograph and arranging the result into an indisputable karyogram. It took until 1954 before the human diploid number was confirmed as 46. Considering the techniques of Winnie Warder and Painter, their results were quite remarkable. Chimpanzees, the closest living relatives to modern humans, have 48 chromosomes as do the other great apes. In humans, two chromosomes fuse to form chromosome 2. Aberrations. Chromosomal aberrations are disruptions in the normal chromosomal content of a cell and are a major cause of genetic conditions in humans, such as Down syndrome, although most aberrations have little to no effect. Some chromosome abnormalities do not cause disease in carriers, such as translocations or chromosomal inversions, although they may lead to a higher chance of bearing a child with a chromosome disorder. Abnormal numbers of chromosomes or chromosome sets, called aneuploidy, may be lethal or may give rise to genetic disorders. Genetic counseling is offered for families that may carry a chromosome rearrangement. The gain or loss of DNA from chromosomes can lead to a variety of genetic disorders. Human examples include CRI do chat, which is caused by the deletion of part of the short arm of chromosome 5. 
CRI du chat means cry of the cat in French, the condition was so named because affected babies make high-pitched cries that sound like those of a cat. Affected individuals have wide-set eyes, a small head, and jaw, moderate to severe mental health problems, and are very short. Down syndrome, the most common trisomy, usually caused by an extra copy of chromosome 21, trisomy 21. Characteristics include decreased muscle tone, stockier build, asymmetrical skull, slanting eyes, and mild to moderate developmental disability. Disability. Edwards syndrome, or trisomy 18, the second most common trisomy. Symptoms include motor retardation, developmental disability, and numerous congenital anomalies causing serious health problems. 90% of those affected die in infancy. They have characteristic clenched hands and overlapping fingers. Isodocentric 15, also called itic 15, partial tetrasomy 15q, or inverted duplication 15, inv dub 15. Jacobson syndrome, which is very rare. It is also called the terminal 11q deletion disorder. Those affected have normal intelligence or mild developmental disability, with poor expressive language skills. Most have a bleeding disorder called Paris Trousseau syndrome. Kleinfelter syndrome, XXY. Men with Kleinfelter syndrome are usually sterile and tend to be taller and have longer arms and legs than their peers. Boys with the syndrome are often shy and quiet and have a higher incidence of speech delay and dyslexia. Without testosterone treatment, some may develop gynecomastia during puberty. Patau syndrome is also called D-syndrome or trisomy 13. Symptoms are somewhat similar to those of trisomy 18, without the characteristic folded hand. Small supernumerary marker chromosome. This means there is an extra, abnormal chromosome. Features depend on the origin of the extra genetic material. Cat eye syndrome and isodocentric chromosome 15 syndrome or itic 15 are both caused by a supernumerary marker chromosome, as is Pallister, Killian syndrome. Triple X syndrome, triple X. Triple X girls tend to be tall and thin, and have a higher incidence of dyslexia. Turner syndrome, X instead of XX or XY. In Turner syndrome, female sexual characteristics are present but underdeveloped. Females with Turner syndrome often have a short stature, low hairline, abnormal eye features, and bone development, and a caved-in appearance to the chest. wolf kirschhorn syndrome, which is caused by partial deletion of the short arm of chromosome 4. It is characterized by growth retardation, delayed motor skills development, Greek helmet facial features, and mild to profound mental health problems. XYY syndrome. XYY boys are usually taller than their siblings. Like XXY boys and XXX girls, they are more likely to have learning difficulties. Sperm aneuploidy. Exposure of males to a certain lifestyle, environmental, and or occupational hazards may increase the risk of aneuploid spermatozoa. In particular, the risk of aneuploidy is increased by tobacco smoking and occupational exposure to benzene, insecticides, and perfluorinated compounds. Increased aneuploidy is often associated with increased DNA damage in spermatozoa. Subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback. This is brought to you by Tori. On both you, Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoy, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.